what did you kind of see on, on your interception in the second half? Uh, it was just kind of a play that we've seen on film every, you know, when I was watching during this week. And just uh, seen the formation, kind of alerted uh, my teammate what was kind of coming. And so, you know, uh, I think on that play, it was kind of like an all out blitz. So I was just trying to make a play to change the game, honestly. Defensively, you guys uh, turn him over three times, got another takeaway on special teams. Uh, the coach is, is, has told us that he was looking for more takeaways yeah. this year. How, how, how much of a mission was that for you guys this year? Honestly, today? when we had our goals as a defense, takeaways was number one on that list. And Coach Duke, he just, we pride ourselves on just getting the ball back. And, you know, it was just because once you get the ball back, it's more possessions for the offense. And once the offense have more possessions, you have more chance of scoring, you know, so mm -hmm. that's what we needed. What did you feel from the energy when you got that interception at the end? How crazy was it for you just to feel that, that crowd yeah. around you go yeah. ecstatic? Honestly, me personally, that was my first game with fans because, you know, last year was my first year. And so, honestly, it was just crazy. It was surreal just to feel that and just to make a game changer and play like that for my team. It almost looked like you were in a pattern. <laughs> you know, yeah. After. <laughs> yeah, it was it was wild, honestly. I can't even remember it, you know. I, it was just in the moment, so I just, like I said, just made the play. Um, did West Virginia do anything that maybe you guys uh, weren't expecting? Uh, honestly, our coaches did a great job preparing us, so everything we've seen, we saw it at practice. And so uh, we was prepared for that, and honestly, it was just, it was what we expected. What was the atmosphere on the sidelines as a team? West Virginia calls that timeout. And, and you guys get to celebrate, and then you get to kill the clock there. What was it like on the bench? Honestly, it was it was wild because Locke says it's going to be two things that we need to do to become the team that we want to do. It's being disciplined and how we face adversity. And throughout that game, we knew it was going to be a four-quarter game, and how we handled that adversity was just the way we wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. So it was great. Is, is there anything behind the number two? Did you pick that, or did they give that to uh, you? Honestly, <laughs> I wanted three, but Nick Cross had three. Yeah. So. Just drop down one. So, <laughs> what you uh, think of Tariq still and just how he played and, and the crucial plays he had today? Oh yeah, he man, that's my that's my guy. Uh, he's always here to play. You know, honestly, the whole secondary we're just ready to rock and roll on whoever and just just do what we were taught, what we were coached, and just play as a unit. Uh, Dante said you and him go at it quite a bit in practice. Who who gets the better of each other? Honestly, uh, it's just iron sharp as iron. So I get him one time, he gets me. So, you know, it's just at the end of the day, it makes us better, makes us a better team. Defensively, you guys kept him out of the end zone in the second half. You also got those two takeaways. What was, do you feel the difference was after halftime? Uh, we just had to make some some small adjustments of the things that they were kind of doing because every time we line up, they kind of see what we're in and they check out of it. And so uh, Coach Stu and all the other defensive coaches did a great job adjusting to uh, the things they saw. And so I feel like, you know, he just prepared us and got us what we wanted to be. Do you like man or zone better? <laughs> uh, Probably man, but at the same time, you have to switch up. You know, can't run man all game. <laughs> Ready? Go ahead. Go ahead.